Hey guys, it's Dawn from Seasonal Designs. Today's video is going to be on the prep and construction of the greenhouse you see behind me. Hope you enjoy. It all started with a conversation between my husband and I. Gosh, wouldn't it be cool to have a greenhouse? That conversation then turned into a lot of research. Once we decided where the greenhouse would sit, the work began. They came in and cleared the topsoil where the greenhouse would sit in the prairie, as well as excavating for both the foundation and the footings. You can see the deep trenches here in this photo that were dug out for the footings. And footings are recommended for a couple of reasons. Number one, where we live in Wisconsin, we get a lot of freeze thaw going on in the winter. And then number two, the structure is made of all glass. You just don't want a lot of movement going on with a heavy glass structure. Once the footings were cured, the crew came back to set up the forms for the poured concrete knee walls. Since it was the middle of April and the ground here was like super soft, the cement trucks couldn't drive back to the greenhouse through the prairie without getting stuck. So they brought in skid steers and ran them back and forth to pour both the footings and the knee walls. Not gonna lie, some of this made me a bit nervous. And then it sat until summertime. Early summer, they then came back to dig a trench where they could run electric gas and water. And it runs from our home to the greenhouse. And you can see in this video, they did a really nice job of not making a mess of the lawn. They also installed a drain in the floor of the greenhouse. It was a few months before they returned to backfill and pour the concrete floor, once again using our prairie as an entry. Only this time at the end of a long dry summer, they were able to drive all the way back to the greenhouse without a problem. We chose to do a concrete floor. Super easy maintenance. Spray it down with a hose, squeegee it out, and you're done. Once finished, we flooded the floor with water and kept it wet for about 20 days so it could cure nice and slow. Next up, the sills had to be installed. We felt that adding sills provided a nice finished look to the greenhouse versus just having the frame of the greenhouse sit right on the knee wall. Finally, the greenhouse arrived from BC Greenhouses out of Canada on October 4th, and the team from Wisconsin Greenhouse Company began installation the very next day. 
We were super excited to finally see this thing getting installed. BC Greenhouses is known for their well-built greenhouses that can withstand incredibly high winds and heavy snow loads. We chose the Cape Cod style with a 12-12 roof soap and added lots of upgrades like tinted roof glass, automatic roof vents, storefront doors, rain gutters, and decorative crest finials and beauty caps. Got to tape the process. Good morning. It was a little bit unnerving to watch them install the glass, but really the team from Wisconsin Greenhouse Company did a great job. They used a silicone type caulk after putting the glass in place to make a watertight seal. We worked with Treetops Landscape Design for the hardscape and Joseph Riddick Construction for the concrete flat work and the beautiful stonework on the greenhouse. When you have two crews working in the same area. It's a busy place here today. Lots of stuff going on. Making some headway here today. ready to put the stone up on the wall. It's like a puzzle with lots of pieces that don't really fit. <laughs> With the stonework completed by Joe and his crew, Treetop started on the blue stone walkway leading up to the greenhouse. This is actually the first time we've hired a landscape company to put in the hardscape. Back in the day when we were younger, it was something we did ourselves. My hubby Steve put this back patio in about 20 years ago. So when I came out one morning to find him adding some bluestone in the grass, I really wasn't very surprised. But what a treat to have this work done for us. We feel like we chose the perfect spot for our greenhouse, situated in our prairie, about 60 yards or so from our back patio where we like to entertain. And for those of you who have been following me here on YouTube and Instagram, know that I'm a gardener and I love doing containers. I can hardly wait to try to grow some of this stuff in my own greenhouse. Concrete pavers were installed around the greenhouse to add a finished edge. They finished just in the nick of time.
David came back with the back ordered path lights and got those installed before the ground froze. And I found the perfect urns from Unique Stone to add to the front walkway. That's video number one out of probably what's going to end up being a three-part series. We still have a lot to do in this greenhouse. The next video is probably going to be on the inside. We're still waiting on a heat source. I'd like to share with you how the venting system works. I want to share some of the design elements we'll be adding, and I want to share how we're going to use this greenhouse. And then the third video is probably going to be the landscaping. This winter I've been working on what I want to do for landscaping around the outside of this. So that will probably, we'll start working on that in spring, and I hope to be able to share that with you as well. If you guys have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below and I will be sure to uh, get back to you and answer those. I'll also be placing information on, you know, the stone that we use, some of the contractors that we used, where we purchased our greenhouse from, who put it up, all that kind of good information um, in the information section of this video. So if you're interested in that, be sure to look for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.